Okay, so I'm going to do a quick video on how to uh, replace a model in Grounded. Uh, the model that I'm going to be adding in is the Dragon Sword from State of Decay 2. And the model I'll be replacing is the Lava Blade from Grounded. Uh, this, what I'm going to show you, will only work with static meshes. Uh, skeletal meshes need a lot more work with rigging and things like that, which is beyond my current knowledge, although it's something I'm hoping to look for uh, into in the future. So you're going to need your FBX and your textures for the weapon that you want to replace. Uh, when I extracted the sword from State of Decay, uh, I got my model and these three textures. I don't think that's the correct type of texture um, for the roughness metallic ambient occlusion, but it's what I have and I don't know enough about textures to say for sure. Art is not my forte, so we're just going to go with it. Alright, so the first thing we'll need to do is look at what we're replacing. So we want to go to the uh, extracted assets or grounded. We want to find the weapon that I'm hoping to replace, uh, the lava blade. And there's the static mesh. Typically, devs will put SM in front of it, so it's a nice, easy indication. Then you want to check what material it's using uh, under the static mesh block. And we can see it's using a material instance, lava blade 01 equip. And we pop into linked classes and see where it's located. As you can see, it's just inside the textures v1 file. Then we want to pop open the instance and see what textures it's using. So we want the MI equip. And this is a Metroid instance. We're going to look for the texture parameters. And we're going to see it's using uh, the Albedo is Lava Blade 01C. The normal is Lava Blade N. And the RMA is RMA. Uh, so to replace those, you'd simply grab the textures that you had earlier. And uh, actually, let me delete stuff I've already done here. Uh, import. Oh, why could I not just add files? Um, easier way to do this is just grab them from there. Um, that looks fine. Uh, do not create material. Import. Then we want to make sure it matches up. So we need textures v01. And these need to be moved to the correct location. And then they need to be named correctly for the files they want to overwrite. Okay, then to make sure that the model is pointing to the correct textures, you will need to create a material uh, with the same name and give the blade pointing to it. I can't remember if the blade 
it had a material slot name. Yep, it did. So you want to grab that material slot name and pop that in there. And that should now be fine. If you want to have a preview of what it might look like in game, you can pop these in. Obviously this won't look exactly the same because it's not going to match the material they're actually using. Uh, but it can give you a pretty good preview of what it will potentially maybe look like. So actually, as you can see, the C goes in color, the N goes in your normal, and your RMA goes in roughness, metallic, and ambient occlusion. And I feel like that map has the wrong colors, but whatever. I don't know enough about texturing. And there you go. Now you can see this is what it should somewhat look like, hopefully, maybe in the game, which is... It, pretty much how I want it to look. So once that's done, I'm gonna go to file, cook content. Let's get rid of that. Then I'm gonna to go to uh, project content. Uh, when you go to your project, uh, your Unreal project that you're using, don't go into the content folder. You want to go into saved, cooked, Windows Node Editor, main, content, and that will be your unpacked data there. And then pretty much just copy the art folder into that content folder. Get rid of that because it's not for this. Make sure everything's there with the same name. Uh, take the material out because you're not you you not replacing the material, you're just replacing the textures, but everything is linked up correctly. Then it is close that simple matter of packaging the folder. Grabbing it from the there, popping it in to your packs folder. Uh, let's just delete that just so we can see it's actually the new one we've just put in. Then I think my noise gate's failed. Yeah, and let's change time of day. And as you can see, there's the new blade. So pretty much doing that, you can replace any static mesh in the game. So enjoy adding your own content or content you got from other games <laughs> into Grounded and uh, have fun.